Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Maria on this channel. I do lots of thrifting, hauls, things like that. I also do beauty content, I do subscription unboxings, and I'm just kind of working on blending that all together. But today I am incredibly excited because in less than like two weeks, I am going on a tropical vacation to St. Lucia and I am very, very excited about it. And what I decided to do was challenge myself to see if I could find my entire wardrobe at the thrift store. So that is what I have done. But I also didn't do any specific trips just to look for vacation clothes. I only did it as I was out sourcing for my just normal reselling business to see what I could find along the way. So I have been putting clothes in this bag over the last few months in anticipation of this. And I honestly don't really remember what's in here. Now, I also just pulled a few items from my currently listed closet. Obviously, my closet's gonna be on vacation mode, so I'm not gonna sell any of these while I'm gone because they're items that I think will also work for the trip, and once I get home, I'll clean them up and then I will relist them. So by the time you are watching this video, this vacation will already be done, which means that I can pop up some footage as we go from the trip, show you what they look like, how they wore, and all that kind of stuff. The whole point of this is just to show you whether you're a reseller or whether you just like using secondhand clothes, you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a fantastic luxury vacation wardrobe. I know, I look absolutely ridiculous in this video. These sold, I think overnight. By the time this video airs, all these items may be listed, may not be listed. So if you're interested, you can of course check out my Poshmark closet and eBay store down below. But let's get started. Let's see what I have in here. Obviously I'm looking for tropical type items. So the first thing I have here is a pretty little summer dress, floral, Hawaiian, tropical. This is blue rain, which I'm trying to remember. I feel like it's either Anthro or Nordstrom or sometimes sold at Anthro. It doesn't have the 66170 retail number, um, but it's sold somewhere. If anyone knows, let me know. I just remember thinking this was super cute. I'm also going to be trying to remember how much I paid for each of these items. Some of them still have tags, so that'll be helpful, and others I'm just gonna try to remember. Because the ones in the first bag aren't listed yet. I'm not gonna list them until after the vacation. This one was from a Goodwill retail, and I remember it being $5. Okay, this was from the same Goodwill retail, and this is from Nanette Lepore. I've heard mixed things as far as the resale value, but I haven't tried anything yet, so I've been wanting to try it, but my Goodwills um, here in Maryland have it always marked up. But I was able to find this at a good one, Ohio, flat rate price of $5. It's just a little like sleeveless choker style dress with a nice geometric pattern. So I'm gonna be wearing these floral kind of fancy, like just loose, fun clothes all the time. Probably on this vacation, we are staying at a sandals. So we're just gonna be kind of beaching it and going to the restaurants and hopefully doing some activities along the way too though. All right, if you didn't know, I used to play tennis and I love playing tennis. I just don't get to play that often. They have tennis courts. And so hopefully my husband will play with me. He'll probably just hit them all like baseballs. But this is a super pretty little Trina Turk recreation tank. It's an extra small. Obviously I had to get clothes. All of these are gonna be like small, extra small because they needed to fit me. But as I'm thrifting for my entire vacation wardrobe, if I wanna play tennis, I gotta have something to play tennis in. So here's her little logo. Oh, I think, let me find it. Okay, so all of the ones I pulled from my inventory are in their bags, I'm just pulling them out. I actually don't seal my inventory bags from my inventory system until I ship them in case I need to pull them out, look at them, get some additional measurements, things like that. Anyway, um, so I pulled out this little Athleta tennis skirt and I think that's gonna be perfect. These two together to get some tennis on. The tennis skirt actually is already listed. I have it listed for $30 and I got that at a Goodwill for $5. All right, if anyone has ever been to Sandals before, they're kind of famous for their white parties. So I've been looking for something. I have another like sundress that you'll see that I pulled out of my inventory that I'm considering wearing for the white party, but I found this at the last Goodwill I was at 
It's so pretty. It's going to be impossible. Hopefully I'm popping up footage either of a model photo or of myself wearing it on this trip. But it's this really pretty like Grecian style white floor length stretch maxi dress and it is backless, which I love. I love an open back. I just personally think it's one of my better features. And yeah, this was, it's just express, but it's beautiful and it still has the tags on it. So this retailed for $98. Um, this was $5 at that same Goodwill. So if I, I'm, I haven't taken the tags off yet because if I don't wear it for this trip, I'll list it as new with tags, obviously. But if I end up wearing it, I'll have to pull the tags off and still hopefully maybe get like $40 for it um, is what I'm hoping to resell it for afterwards. I just ordered some stuff for my husband for that white party too. In case you're new to the channel, um, he is very supportive of me, but he has just chosen to not have his own face and self on my channel. So all of the pictures I'm posting in this video are just going to be of myself, but he is there with me. I didn't go all by myself. Okay, next thing, we got to have some shorts to walk around in. There are little towns. Where we are hopefully going to go hiking to a waterfall. So these are from BP, which is a Nordstrom brand and they're just super cute. Light wash, high-waisted, distressed, very in right now. So once the trip is over, these are going to be great um, for springtime, which I can't believe is actually coming. I'm already looking to start sourcing for spring, so I'll probably list these for around $28, hopefully get somewhere around $20. All right, the next one is kind of thrifted. I'm part of like a free cycle online group in the neighborhood. So I commented and was able to get this for free. And it's just Knox Rose, which is Target, but they make super cute, like really boho themed items. And this is a little like kimono cover up. I just realized I have like four cover ups. So I'm gonna be able to have a different beach cover up like every single day. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But once I'm done, I don't think I'll need to keep all of these, so I'll probably list them still. It's got a little tassel. I mean, Knox Rose, it's maybe made me 10, 15 bucks, but that's, hey, that's okay, it was free to me. I just remembered I have some other shoes I need to grab upstairs, so I'll get those in a minute. Um, but I have no idea what this brand is, GBG Los Angeles. I don't know if anyone knows what that is. I just thought they were cute, and I got these at Once Upon a Child, which is a kid's consignment store for $7.50 and I I don't know, I think they're cute. Um, they've got the logo, they kind of look like guests. I don't know if they're supposed to or not, but that's kind of what I thought of. Um, but these, these are women's sizes, size seven, um, which is my size. I also often shop at Once Upon a Child for my own shoes because a kid size four is like a women's size seven, something like that, kid size five maybe. Um, so I'll get kid sizes and you can get them cheaper and they're really cute. Here's some um, sandals to kick around in. Oh, I didn't realize these were attached. I just hit myself in the face with one of these sandals. Um, but these are Circus by Sam Edelman, um, which I've only sold a couple times, but both times they sold well. These have a sticker for $4, but I remember at this thrift store, the blue tag was on sale that day. It was 50% off, so I got these for $2. And I got these at the kind of beginning of this process. So I got these to resell and then I realized they were my size. You know what? Sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. These might have kicked off the entire like concept because I remember trying them on and then I was like, these are my size. And I was like, oh, I could take these to St. Lucia. And then I was like, you know what? I wonder if I could get my whole wardrobe from a thrift store. And here we are. So these are the shoes that inspired the video. Okay, so the next thing we hear, yes, hat is some 100% linen white pants. I just figured these are great for like the beach to hang out in, pair with a cute like crop top, tank top, something like that. Um, and these are Tommy Bahama. So when I'm done with them, I'll probably get like 20, 25. I'm guessing these will sell on eBay. That's where most of my Tommy Bahama stuff tends to sell. But you never know, hopefully going into spring and summer, um, linen will start selling really well. Right now I'm selling a lot of wool and cashmere and then I'm expecting in the next couple months it'll start transitioning to linens and silks. Hi guys, Editing Maria here. So right before I left on this vacation, I was actually in Columbus and I went to the bins and picked up a few more items. So I'm going to share those with you guys as well. This pink top that I was wearing, I fell in love with. It is from Lush. It was so light at the bins and... I haven't listed it yet. I probably will, but I might keep it to wear a couple times in summer. So the next thing I got from the bins here in Baltimore, and look how cute this little crop top is. Um, it's like an off-the-shoulder crop top. You can kind of wear it up or a little down. 
Um, and it would look good with those on a pants. It'll look good with any of these little denim shorts that I have. And this is from Flying Tomato. I hear this used to be a good reseller. I don't know if this is gonna sell for more than like 10 or 15 bucks when I'm done with it, but I'll get some wares out of it. It's super cute. At the bins, this was probably like 50 cents. So it helped drive my whole cost of goods down for that trip. Okay, this one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have pictures to pop up or not because I'm not sure if it fits. It fits around like the waist, but the height is a little concerning. This is Japna, it's an extra small, and it's a super cute little jumpsuit. And it is like a cropped kind of culotte leg, which I'm totally fine with. I can wear those sandals or something with it. But I'm worried that like the cropped area is a little short, and if that's a little short, it's not a good look. Um, but I don't remember. It was a couple months ago when I tried it on. So I'm probably gonna try it on before I pack and see what ends up making it. I am an overpacker and I need to not be, especially when I have to trek all this stuff across the ocean. So I'm gonna try to pack very specifically, have an outfit for each night, daytime, you know, and, and everything that I need to have very specific. That's how I've been packing. We've been traveling with my kids for Christmas and I packed very specific outfits for them instead of just throwing everything in and it has been, Fantastic, so I need to do that for myself now. All right, another little cute, probably afternoon dress. Um, this, I also got to resell initially and I was like, oh, this would be great for St. Lucia. It is this like really big all over Hawaiian tropical print and it is made in Hawaii. Anytime you can find these types of prints, especially if they're silk or linen, um, and especially in like men's button down shirts. If you can find things that are made in Hawaii and vintage made in Hawaii, um, it's usually a fairly safe pickup. So I'm excited about this. I, I think it will get worn on the trip. This was $5.29 at one of my local thrift stores. This is second Ave, but the, the tags look like savers. I don't have savers in my area. But when I look at other resellers, like on YouTube, their tags, they look the same. So I'm wondering if they're maybe owned like by the same company or they're just called different things in different areas. If anybody knows, let me know, cause I'd be interested. All right, this one I'm excited about, but I, I don't know. Cause I, I'm not quite sure how to wear it. This is so pretty. It's going to be hard to show. Hopefully if I wore it, you're seeing the footage over here. Um, but this is Rebecca Taylor, which of course retails for a ton. It doesn't always resell terribly amazingly, but it's like just this sheath kind of negligee looking dress. Um, but look at the bottom. It's got all these petals and embellishments. And I was trying to find a stock photo of this and I kept finding a runway piece that is similar to this, but wasn't the same. So I'm wondering if this was actually a mainline design collection that she did have walk the runway, but this is like the um, wearable version of it that was made for retail stores. Um, that is possible, but I'm not quite sure what or how you wear under it. Um, this might be a you go braless kind of dress and if there's anywhere to do that, it's in a tropical climate where it's an adult only <laughs> resort area. So I might do that, we will see. Hopefully I can figure out um, what shoes to wear this with too, because that's always difficult. I'm trying to not take a bunch of clunky heels and try to pack more conservatively. We will see. All right, editing Maria here, popping in one more time. I have two more dresses that I got at that like late Christmas shopping trip that I didn't film earlier when I filmed the rest of this video. And I absolutely have to show you guys because this one right here is my absolute favorite. This is a Lily Pulitzer dress that I found at a retail Goodwill for $10 dollars and that is an absolute steal. I do have this listed right now for $150. Now will it sell for that $150? I'm not sure. It's only been listed a week or so. Um, I'm very curious to see how this sells but it is a floor length halter dress. It does tie in the back and this print is absolutely stunning. This is called the Holland dress and when I was looking up comps it did surprise me. I wasn't expecting to list it that high. Um, but what I saw was sold comps 
high and an extremely good sell-through rate. So there were only a couple listed in a couple sizes. None of them were my size at the time, and there were lots and lots sold. It's also gotten a lot of interest already, so I do have high hopes for it, but this was my absolute favorite dress that I wore on the trip. I had so many compliments for it. The next one was actually my husband's favorite dress of the trip. I just think he really liked how this fit me, and I will say it is so soft and comfortable. This is a Rachel Pally dress. Now, I have sold Rachel Pally once before and it did sell well, um, but I hadn't heard of this brand before I started reselling. Um, but what I love about this is the flutter sleeves and how fitted it is. It has a tie around the waist that I really, really enjoyed. So these were two of my favorite and I wanted to make sure they didn't miss this video. Okay, so moving on to the things that I pulled from my, I'm sorry if the lighting is kind of terrible. There's like sun and shadows and all kinds of stuff. So hopefully you can see. But let me show you a few things. I'll try to move a little bit quickly through these. Um, and I'll pull them all of my inventory bags as we go. Um, okay, so these are a pair of Zara new tag, just black denim shorts. I've got my little cheat sheet to tell you guys like what I got them for and what they're listed for in case you're interested. They're listed right now for 28. I got them at a Goodwill retail for $5. I know a lot of resellers wouldn't pick these up for $5, but as Zara sells well, I'll still pick them up. I'm happy for that like $10 to $15 profit. Um, but yeah, this would be cute with that like, here. This kind of outfit, maybe. So I'm gonna wear it. You guys know more than I do right now. I ended up wearing it with this umji top that I got at that after Christmas thrifting bash as well. Um, okay, this one was actually surprised in sell. I, I might have been a little late in the season last year. But this is a Fleta, and it is a silk cotton blend cover-up. I love the print. I I was hoping to find a couple bathing suits to take on this trip. I never found any that fit me. Um, that's a hard thing to find at a thrift store when you're looking for a specific size. I wasn't able to in the last couple of months, so I did actually on Poshmark order a couple swimsuits and one of them black. So I think this will go very nicely over top of it. I know I've had a few Zara pieces in there. They're just cute and trendy. This is Zara, um, size small, and it's just this linen um, tie front micro stripe shirt. I like the buttons down the back. I think this will look super cute with, hold on, wait for it. I've got some outfits in my head that I'm already planning, possibly. Um, these are also Zara, little shorts. Little booty shorts, white, cut off. Um, you might have seen me haul these if you've been watching my channel. I think I had I listed these recently. They're also listed for $28. And I got these for three dollars at a local thrift. Okay, this I got at the bins, and it is a designer I wasn't familiar with, but I looked it up and it sells, but it just hasn't sold for me yet. This is Charles Chang Lima, and it's it's you wouldn't be able to tell because it feels like cotton or linen, but it is 100% silk little black dress. So I might wear this one night. Again, I might have too many outfits here as I have days. So some of these might get cut when I pack, but these are the things I'm thinking about and just again, showing you the amazing things you could find if you're willing to put in the time and effort to dig a little bit, literally in the bins, or you know go through the racks at your local stores. Um, okay, this is an Intimately Free People little tank. Um, I also got this for $5 at a local thrift. I probably wouldn't pay $5 for it at this point in my reselling career, but this was one of the first times I found Free People, so I was just excited. And I knew if it doesn't sell, it's adorable and it fits me, so I would keep it and wear it. And here I am wearing it. I will, of course, just activate the listing when I'm done with it, but I, I love that. That's adorable. Okay, this one I got at the bins in Columbus, Ohio, like I think the first time I went there. And mom, if you happen to be watching this, you sewed this, you fixed this for me um, because the elastic was coming out. But this is another swim cover up. It's really hard to tell, but it like is, it's got like dolman sleeves and it's boxy, but then it cinches right here at the waist. So this would be another one that's super cute over like a black or a white swimsuit. So. All these things I got at the bins, cost of goods is usually around a dollar. This is the other outfit that I'm considering for the white party, but if not, I'll just wear it one afternoon or whatever. 
This is a Volcom little white dress, but it's got these eyelet lace details on the front. This is an extra small. I got this at a local thrift for $3. I think I have this listed. What do I have this listed for? $28. Always looking to sell between like $20 and $25 usually when I list something for $28. And last but not least, this is a little air. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm seeing things on the floor that fell out. Um, this is a little Aeropostale tank. I got these at the bins in the summer when little things like this were selling for me. Um, they're so light. I just liked the graphic on it. So it hasn't sold. It's listed for like 18. Maybe it'll eventually sell between like 10 and 12. Some of the other ones have. Um, but yeah, happy to get a wear out of it. One more cover up. I think this is like the third Jackna thing I have. I don't pick up Jackna often to resell, but when they're cute, plus I got this at the bins, I'm going to, although they haven't sold yet. So maybe I need to re-strategize. We'll see. Um, but this is a kimono style wrap. Um, so I could wear this as a cover up. I could just wear this like in the room as a robe is certainly a possibility, but I love, love the print. It has been listed a while. So hopefully it'll sell this summer. I might need to check the pricing. I have this listed for 24. So maybe that's a little high and I need to drop it. All right, speaking of guests, this is one of the clunkier things that I might bring, just a pair of gladiator sandals. I think will look cute with some of the, like the little flirty dresses, but as I pack, I'm gonna try to match all the outfits. I do really like fashion and clothes and shoes and things, so I'm gonna try to put together nice outfits um, and just enjoy the time. This will be the first time I'm away from my newborn. Oh, he's not a newborn, I'm sorry. He's almost 10 months old, as well as my six-year-old, so they're staying with grandma and grandpa for six days and I'm very excited, but of course I'm gonna miss them so, so much. If you do follow me over on Instagram, I probably was posting content over there the whole time, so you might have already seen a lot of these clothes, but if not, follow me over there if you're you know, looking to see more about fashion, beauty, reselling, and all that kind of stuff. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I have a lot of fun content planned in 2023. I had taken some time off of YouTube a while ago and then came back in 22. And then 2022 was kind of like a rebuilding, rebranding year for me. And I am coming into 2023, hopefully with a bang, to have a lot of fun here with you guys on my channel. So thank you for being with me. If you stayed this long, you probably liked at least something. So please give it a big thumbs up. Click that subscribe button down below. It is absolutely free and takes literally one finger. And I'll see you next time. Bye.